What's going on everyone? Talon here with Talon Collects Figures and we are back with another figure and it is going to be another figure from Kotobukiya and this is going to be the new Rogue figure, the Rogue Rebirth here. Um, it came out just in December of 2023 or the end of December so basically January of uh, 2024 here and I did pre-order this figure and the reason I'm getting it so late is because I like with most of my stuff, opt for the free shipping, which takes the three months or whatever it is, like two to three months that uh, overseas shipping. Um, yeah, just to try to save a little bit of money. She did end up still costing more than normal, or I guess the average for the figures that I normally get from Kotobukiya. So she was $140, which normally they're usually just like 100 to 120, but... Uh, I really like Rogue here, and I wanted to have a Rogue figure in my collection, so that's why I decided to go ahead and get this one. So, uh, yeah, that's what she's looking like there. Again, just came out, paid $140 for her. I bought her on uh, that uh, Tom Shop, the Otaku Shop. I can't remember the format. Tokyo Otaku Shop, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, so I bought, it on, I bought her on there, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get her out of the box, add her to my collection, so let's go ahead and... Open up the box and see what she looks like. Okay, so there we go. We got her out of the box. And pretty much like all of the kind of recent Kotobukiya figures, there's like no assembly required. Uh, a lot of their older figures, you know, you can attach the head or there's like, uh, you know, split in the middle or something. They where you attach the figure together. Actually, no, Kotobukiya didn't have a lot of the ones where they just put it like that. It's mainly just the heads, I guess, with theirs. Um, but now they're just coming fully assembled, even on the base, because I know a lot of them you just had to put them on the base, but now not even that, and no, it's still uh, pegged, so I think I could just pull it right off of the base, uh, but I think a couple of theirs, or maybe it was from a different uh, figure line, they actually just screwed it in, so you need like a screwdriver to actually get them off of the base, which I found interesting, uh, but yeah, here is Rogue, looking pretty nice here. So here we have face. She's got a little bit of uh, purple in her hair there. And I'm assuming that is from Gambit's because we have some playing cards down here. So a little bit of Gambit's powers. And of course, as you can obviously tell, some of Wolverine's as well. So you got the bone claws going on. Yeah, she looks really good. So there's some of the hair. belt right there is hitting that but luckily it's 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 pretty sturdy it just sounded weird on the the lines right here but uh okay outfits looking good the paint is looking good Ooh, yeah overall I'm, I'm liking this figure definitely really nice the quality is good i'm happy about that because I think a few of the figures that I got from them that were released at like late 2023. Um, do I have any ones that were released this year? I don't know if I ordered any that were or if I actually got any in that were released this year. But they were starting to feel kind of lower lower quality for, for a couple uh, figures there. But this one actually feels quite nice. Maybe that's why she was a little bit more expensive than the others. Yeah, it definitely feels uh, better quality. Uh, than like I'd say the last couple figures that I got from them that were released in 2023. They're older figures. I've always liked the quality, but some of their newer ones I was starting to get a little uh, iffy on the quality. But this one is back to being good quality. A lot of detail as well. You can see kind of like in the jacket there. We've got detail. Uh, the pants right there. So overall, yeah, really liking this rogue figure. I do like the base. It is, you know, kind of basic there. Maybe the ice there hinting a little bit at some Iceman powers from Bobby, but don't know. I mean, probably is. I mean, she's got a nice combination here. Wolverine, Gambit, Bobby, all the normal X-Men that she hangs around with. So, yeah, that is going to be rogue here. Again, a very nice figure. I'm actually quite... Uh, quite happy with how this one turned out let me know if any of you guys ordered this figure as well 
But um, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video here. A nice quick showcase of Rogue. Again, I'm really happy with the quality, but again, it is a little more expensive than the normal Code of Ikea figures, which it seems to be the kind of the trend right now. Um, pretty much just everything is going up in price, not just figures. So, you know, figures where you'd normally buy her for a hundred bucks, like, you know, two years ago. Now you got to pay almost 150. So, uh, you know, at least, at least the figure looks good. So that's, that's why I'm happy with it. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And of course I will catch you in the next one.